I don't think you can fly without having a smile on your face. Like, maybe I'm wrong, but most people who fly certainly always seem to be happy to be flying. Just that feeling of getting airborne, it's just, it's like, it's a privilege every single time you do that, no matter how many times you've done it before. As Red Nine in the country's most iconic aerobatic display team, Steve Morris has travelled the world. I mean, it's like pinch yourself moments. So I joined in 2012. My first display season was 2013, because you always join in the autumn before your display season starts the next year. And I left the team in 2016, so I did four display seasons. I left as synchro lead uh, and, and leader of the rear section. Uh, and then in 2018, I was asked to return for two years. So I was like, yeah, of course. Um, it would be a great honor to do that. So I returned in 2018 to start again in 2019. And 2019 was when we went to, uh, to go and do the North America tour, so the US and Canada, and just the fly pass over in Niagara Falls, the Golden Gate Bridge, and we went over in New York, Manhattan, some of the displays, displaying at Miramar, which is, it's going to sound probably very cheesy, but I think there were so many pilots, certainly from my era, that joined the Air Force or, or got into flying because they watched Top Gun. <laughs> so to go and watch where uh, Top Gun had been filmed, and uh, yeah, I was just amazing uh, to go and do. Wearing the red flying suit for one last time, the former fast jet display pilot is taking on a new challenge to become a civilian pilot. But before he can get there, he's got some training to do. Because of my deep-seated interest in aviation, um, I feel I've had such a wonderful career in the Royal Air Force. It's been fantastic and I've literally loved every single moment. Don't get me wrong, there have been hard times as anyone who works in a military organisation will tell you. I've had 20 years, I've achieved flying the Harrier, I've achieved the Red Arrows, and, and for me now I feel like I'm fulfilled with flying jets, I've instructed, and don't get me wrong, the, the prospect of flying a Typhoon or, or an F-35 is very, very exciting. But for me now, I, I want to be able to um, have a bit more stability, at home, it is very challenging. Civilian flying is very different to military flying. Um, I've only just started flying something small with four seats, and you know, I, I hope very soon that I'm flying something bigger with over 200. While it's one man flying, behind the scenes it takes a team to get a civilian license. It's actually quite easy because the training, the initial training has been very good quality, they've got a lot of experience, they're very resilient and it's just trying to give them tips to, uh, to adapt to a twin engine uh, civilian uh, on, a, on a civilian air test. So climbing at 100 knots uh, and then 140 knots. As Steve heads for a new career outside the military, many others follow in his footsteps, from RAF to civilian pilot. Uh, it's quite inspiring, I think. Um, obviously, like probably anyone in this country, uh, unless you've been living under a rock, you're very aware of the, uh, the Red Arrows, the message they sent. Uh, and in some respects, I'd like to think as an RAF musician, we were similarly ambassadors for the service. Uh, but yeah, it's certainly inspiring as a, as a student pilot to see guys like Steve coming through Skybourne and ultimately doing the same training as, as I'm doing. But what's it going to be like to say goodbye to the Reds, not once, but twice. I finished on the Red Arrows two weeks ago and since then I've been I've been here doing my civilian flying so I haven't actually had a chance to kind of like take a step back and go right I'm finished now. Um, the Red Arrows 2022 season so they started training just yesterday and I'm still in some of the WhatsApp groups so you, you saw a few WhatsApps uh, pinging around and, and just just as you would on day one of of the new season. Uh, so that kind of hit me a little bit, but I'm so busy here that I didn't have a chance to digest what was going on. It's already happened once. I've left the team once before, and we've got this phrase that you're a has-been. Once, um, once you've been on the team and, and you're, you're kind of gone, and it's right that it is that way, you know. It's, it's not the individual that is famous, it's the red suit. With a few courses left to finish, Steve is heading for the commercial world and hopes to one day be flying hundreds of people they embark on holiday.
Mercy Chambers forces new Skyborne in Gloucestershire.